today I will tell you all the secrets about starting a YouTube channel that no one tells you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope your day is going well. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I feel like I haven't really done videos about YouTube and YouTube channels and building a YouTube channel. The YouTube world right now is super competitive and it's really hard to kind of like get out there and make yourself known, grow a following, which is why I want to share some secrets and tips to starting and growing your YouTube channel. And this applies to small YouTubers as well as maybe bigger YouTubers, or maybe if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, which right now is a great time considering all the extra time we have on our hands with the quarantine. The first thing is keywords. I feel like people don't realize that the YouTube algorithm is somewhat simpler than people will make it out to be. It's all about keywords and people finding your content. For example, I have one video that kind of blew up and got over 120,000 views and I was honestly shocked myself. And then I went a little bit deeper into trying to find out what it is that made my video so much more searchable and findable for the viewers out there. And it turns out it was the keywords that I used in my title as well as in my hashtags that you can add onto your video when you are uploading it which is why to those of you starting out in the YouTube industry I want to recommend this extension called vidIQ which I have on my YouTube channel and it helps you see all the video statistics and analytics for your video as well as all the other videos that are already uploaded you can see the success rate the views the way that the views have increased or grown since the upload date of the YouTube video and you can also see the hashtags that the people use in their video and which one of those hashtags trended to be the most searchable. So what I like to do when I upload my videos and when I create my videos is I try and research my video topic or idea under various titles in the YouTube search bar and click on the already most viewed videos that are under those topics and I try and look at the keywords that they use and the keywords that rank the highest for their video. And then what I do is I add those keywords onto my videos, which is what I use to try and make it easier for people to find my content and my videos. Now, I have been kind of slacking on this one and I haven't been doing it in the past like probably six months, maybe over than that, but I definitely noticed a difference in the times that I did use this feature and that I actually used the keywords that were most commonly used for your topic. What I have noticed is that some very successful YouTubers who ended up starting out with a smaller following and grew super, super quickly is they all have a certain idea or niche in which their YouTube channel fits into. So what I suggest is you find one thing or one topic or one purpose for all of your videos you have a lot of experience or knowledge on and that you can keep on sharing with other people and that will definitely attract an audience. For example, I started focusing my channel more around my ballroom dance life and who I am as a ballroom dancer, what I do, how my competitions go, and I started vlogging those and kind of filming other possible dance related videos. And I noticed that I started to get a following and an audience which all came for this content and obviously they started to want content that bounced off of that. It created a community of people who now engage with each other, they comment and I talk to them. I love meeting my subscribers and my followers so if you ever want to to chat with me or ask me some questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I have talked to so many of you guys and I love meeting all of you. And of course, I don't upload only ballroom dance videos because all of us have a lot of different interests and a lot of different needs and things that we would like to see content created around. And even though I focus my videos around the fact that I'm a ballroom dancer, my purpose is to inspire you guys, help you guys, and show that if you really love to do something, and you have a passion for it, everything is possible and you can achieve success in that. Just figure out what your main purpose is for your videos and start from there. Now, the third tip is something you've probably heard a lot and it's quantity over quality. I feel like sometimes, especially those of us who like perfection and 
maybe if you're an artist and you really pay attention to detail and everything needs to be super perfect and you only want to put out your best work out there I totally understand that I definitely relate to that but what I realized is the more you upload the more chances it will give for other people to find your videos even if you have certain videos that might not do as well as some other videos that doesn't mean that you only need to upload those videos that you worked so long and so hard on because if you upload less videos it will allow for less people to find them and therefore your work will be shared with a significantly smaller amount of audience so especially as small creators we can't always focus on this idea of always producing super high quality work in a manageable time manner also if you already have an audience and if you want to attract a bigger audience people like consistency if they like a couple of your videos they will want to keep seeing more of your videos and therefore they would want you to upload more content and more videos for them to see if you want to start a YouTube channel but you're scared or don't want to because you don't have a good camera or you don't have a good editing software or you don't know how to edit and you're not really sure where to get that help from what I will tell you is you don't need professional equipment to make great videos that people will enjoy there are so many things that you can do just on your phone and so many apps that you can use to edit your videos enhance your videos some things that i can recommend is imovie i think imovie is actually very underrated especially if you are beginning to create videos there are so many things you can do in imovie from a phone or an ipad if you really know how to use it you can add photos overlaid onto videos you can add audio that is separate from a video you can even do green screens fade out and fade in your music there are also other apps like Pixar and Visco and the mobile Lightroom app that you can use to create overlays and text for your videos that you can then add on to the iMovie app to create your video. Personally, when I started off, I think the very first video I ever created was done on Windows Movie Maker. It was obviously not the best idea. This video is no longer on the internet because I took it down. My currently used software is Sunny Vegas Pro 14 and I have only started using it maybe a couple of years ago so it wasn't like a discovery that I made right away even though it's not like Final Cut Pro or anything there are still very cool things that you can do with Sunny Vegas and things that you can figure out how to do to enhance your videos if you guys want me to make a video on how I film and edit my videos I can definitely do that for you but when you're starting out the most important thing is for people to discover you once again you need to focus on a topic that you're going to present to your audience if they're going to be helpful videos people will love them and they will be super thankful that you created that video for them no matter how super fancily edited it is growing your technological advancement is something that you can do along with your audience and your youtube channel and i think it's even cooler when an audience can see you grow and blossom into a more advanced i guess or experienced youtuber thumbnails thumbnails are so so important to your videos it is the decision factor between whether or not someone's going to click on your video or not click on your video i would suggest against using clickbait although sometimes clickbait is actually kind of a good thing as long as you don't overuse it use text on your videos use borders outlines for yourself or other subjects in the thumbnail alter the lighting and the color make sure that they are very appealing to the eye there are very great apps out there that you can download to help you make your thumbnails one of my favorite ones is pixar obviously it is an app that i use to make cutouts and borders and all of that and some other super cool special effects and designs and i love the app fonto for doing all of my text that is what i do everything on if you really want to go the extra mile you can start off by deciding on a theme that all of your thumbnails will use for example the same font filter maybe even all of your thumbnails use a border or always outline yourself or whatever the subject is in the photo and you stay consistent with it throughout your channel so that you can create a really attractive channel even if you have three or four videos when people will click on it they will see that you have a certain consistency with the way that you make your thumbnails and the way that you make your videos and channel banners are also another thing that you should look into when you are starting off a youtube channel make sure that is simple it is eye-catchy i'm actually not super good at that i kind of make my thumbnails all over the place but i just like to make them good which is my fault and I am actually trying to fix that and trying to make all my thumbnails more similar to each other but I'm having a hard time with that 
The last thing I want to say is that YouTube is a social media platform and social media, yes, it does imply that you are being social on this platform. Don't just focus on uploading your own videos, also watch other people's videos and subscribe to their channels and comment on their videos. I don't think you realize how important comments are to most creators out there. I am someone who absolutely loves reading comments and responding to comments and receiving them and if you are doing that good thing to other youtubers and you're leaving some nice positive comments on their channels or you're just mentioning something specific that you liked in the video chances are that more people who watch that person's video will click on your channel and find it that way or that that person whose channel that is if they're also a smaller creator that they will click on your channel and find your channel and maybe you'll make a new youtube friend who knows although a lot of people use this as a way to spam on other people's youtube videos i don't actually comment unless i have fully watched Watch the video of the person I just think that it's more fair that way and I also don't want people leaving comments on my channel without watching my video or just leaving it for the like or the shout out or for me to check out their channel so I really try and make sure that I treat other people on YouTube the same way that I would like my channel to be treated and for my content to be viewed as all in all, these are just some super basic tips for any of you guys that want to get more into YouTube. If you have any more questions or you'd like me to film some more things on starting a YouTube channel or growing your channel, make sure to let me know. Also make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Stay safe, start a YouTube channel. That's all I can say. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye.